but you probably should swipe away right now because this video is not for you. But come on, who doesn't like art? I mean, do you hate happiness? I'm pretty sure you don't. So in this video, I have three places in Paris you should visit if you are a lover of the arts. But before we get into that, why don't you show the channel some love by smashing the like button, subscribing and turning your notifications on so you don't miss any of our future videos? Right here, we consistently dish out videos on your favorite cities, tourist sites and relaxation spots. So yeah, let's get back to the video. Place 1. Ever heard of Perrotin? This is one of the leading art galleries in the whole of Europe and get this, the founder of this gallery was only 21 years old when he founded it. His name is Emmanuel Perrotin and he founded the place in 1990. And this is how he kicked things off. Very early in his life, he started working with talented upcoming artists. He wasn't afraid to display artwork that challenged the norms. He welcomed controversial works and that was probably the best decision he made. His whole career took a major leap when he joined forces with an Italian artist named Maurizio Catellan. Aside from the fact that Maurizio Catellan is a really talented artist with his controversial works, he knows how to use his art to make everyone talk. And you know how it works in business? If you can have people talking about your business, you have customers and hype. And yeah, this gave Maurizio Catellan and Emmanuel Perrotin a huge boost and ultimately the gallery. Now the gallery is one of the biggest, not just in France, but with branches in Hong Kong, Shanghai, Seoul, New York and Tokyo. And of course, the head gallery is in Paris. So yeah, if you want to visit Paris and go back home with amazing artwork, you should definitely visit this place. But just so you know, you have other options. I have two more places for you to choose from. Place 2. Now if you think Emmanuel Perrotin founding a gallery at age 21 is impressive, wait till you hear the age of the founder of the next gallery. Or more accurately, the age the founder was when the gallery was founded. This gallery is named Danish Gallery and it was founded by Magda Danish in 1991. She was only 17 when she opened her first gallery, of course in Paris. Only 17. At that age, I was everything Khalid said in his hit song, Young, Dumb and Broke. But anyway, Magda Danish has always been obsessed with art and from an early age, maybe in her case I should say earliest age, she had already started collecting artwork. Now she not only has one of the biggest art galleries in Paris, but she also has branches in Shanghai and London. One thing this gallery is known for is how it effortlessly mixes different artistic styles and isn't afraid of challenging traditional styles. Trust me, the artists displayed here are world class and very talented. If any place is worth your time and money, it's this one. And speaking of money, you should visit hotspottraveling.com to save on flights, hotels and bookings. I want you to save as much as possible so you have enough to spend on artwork that your heart chooses. Place 3. Before I end this video, I have one more place for you. This one is called Galerie Templon and it is a true beauty. This one was founded by Daniel Templon in 1966 and he was just 21 when he founded it. At this point, I'm not just mad at myself, but it's fine. Anyway, Daniel Templon had a vision. He wanted to introduce foreign art to France. The thing is, at that time, art in France was not doing so well, or at least that's what Daniel Templon thought. He figured that was his call to bring in works from other parts of the world, even outside Europe. So he brought in works from Asia and America. He gave French people something to adore and inspired the native artists. And yeah, that's how we have Galerie Templon. There isn't much to say about this place except that it is simply spectacular. If you want to see a sweet blend of French and foreign works, this is the place to visit and spend your money on. And that's where we stop for today. Smash that like button if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.